Rafael Falma was renowned Filipino writer, scholar, and politician, and here are some details about his personal life, education, achievements, awards, and Rafael Palma was born October 24, 1874 in the city of Manila, Philippines, and his parents were Don Valeriano Palma and Doña Justa Rufina Colantes. He had five siblings and he married Remedios Nable Jose in 1909 and they had four children. Rafael Palma obtained his primary and secondary education at Atalaya de Manila. He continued his study at the University of Santo Tomas and Manila where he earned a bachelor degree in philosophy in 1894. And then, he pursued a law degree in the same university which he completed in 1898. Rafael Palma was one of the leading intellectuals during his time in the Philippines. He was a prophetic writer who produced works in a various genre, including poetry, fiction, history, and essays. And he served the president of the University of the Philippines from 1923 to 1933. And he was also appointed as a secretary of public instruction in 1923. Recognition of his contribution to the Philippine literature, Rafael Palma received a numerous awards, including Presidential Medal of Merit in 1947 and Republic Cultural Heritage Award in 1967, and he was also awarded a several honorary degree from various universities in the Philippines. Rafael Palma was one of the pioneers modern of the Philippine literature. He wrote several historical works, including The History of the Philippine Island and a study of the pre-Hispanic source materials of the history of the Philippines. And he also wrote a poetry, short stories, and essay that dealt with the various aspects of Filipino culture and society. His works are characterized by a strong sense of nationalism and the love of the Philippines and its people. One of the works of Rafael Palma, The Woman and the Right to Vote. It was an exciting part in the Philippines when finally women were guaranteed the right to vote. A group of women, led by a passionate and advocate named Sofia de Vera, began to rally for their right to participate in the political process. Sofia was a brilliant speaker and first defender of women's rights. She recognized the rallies and town hall meetings to educate women about their new fund right to vote. She emphasized that it was important for women to take their place in society and have a say in cessation that affected their lives. Many women were hesitant at first unsure of how to participate in politics and intimidated by the male-dominated political landscape. But, with Sophia's guidance and encouragement, they soon found their voice and began to fight for change. They held parades, protests, demanding better working conditions and easier access to healthcare and more rights. Fade off in 1937 when the Philippines Commonwealth legislature passed on the Women's Suffrage Act and guaranteeing women the right to vote in national elections. On April 30 of the same year, women cast in their first ever vote in the Philippines election. Sophia stood proud and joyful as to watch women from all walks of life cast their ballots. It was a momentous occasion and one that she had fought for entirely. She knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult, but she was confident that women would continue to fight for their rights and improve their lives. And the movement and the right to vote by Rafael Palma is a stirring reminder of the power of women to affect change and importance of fighting for equal rights.